Let's raise up your hands where they are. Father, in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. No matter how Jesus was alive, he never said, all the disciples of John, you are dissolved. Now come to me, I'm the one who's teaching the true gospel. No. John still had disciples. Jesus had disciples. John had a school of prayer and Jesus didn't have. Until one day the disciples said to Jesus, John teaches his disciples how to pray. But you have never taught us. Can you also teach us? And he never taught them. He just said, when you pray, say this. But John was what? Teaching them. So there is no way John should go on the altar and condemn Jesus. To say, no, 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 no. How, what type of a man of God? You don't teach your disciples prayer. That's not godly. I'm seeing this trend, especially in Nigeria. And they don't know. This will be the fall of Nigeria. You see, the whole revival was happening in Nigeria. But this is how Nigeria will fall. Everybody wants to come out and show they know the Bible than the other. But they are forgetting that they have got different platforms. Instead of them to focus on their platform, hmm? men of God in Nigeria, instead of them to focus on the people, everyone has been given a different assignment for a different congregation. You cannot go and edit another. Come on, focus on your calling and your purpose. And have no fear calling themselves to, no, I am, you know, God has given me a mandate to correct errors in the body of Christ. Jesus. Errors. And, and you see these men of God, their own pastors are living and they are doing crazy things. Why can't you correct first in your house? Why can't you put order? You know, God has called me to put order in the house of God. Which house? Your own house is a failing. And you want to put order on other churches. And Sunday you want to correct that man of God? No. The bab, I see this man preaching up. It's not like that. Oh. What's wrong in Nigeria? I'm telling you, can you imagine a country that God has blessed? With great generals. And now people are confused in Nigeria. They don't know what to believe. I'm telling you now. They don't know what to believe. If you want to become relevant in Nigeria. Begin to condemn another man of God. You become popular. But they don't know that what they're doing. People are now confused. They don't know what to believe. And they call themselves fathers. What other apostles have built for years, they are coming to destroy. Apostles, all those are Debayo or Edepo, they have built this for years. Now others are coming now in the name of putting order. In the <laughs> you are putting what? Order. We are, we are correcting an error. Check around in their church. There's so much disorder. Correct your problems in your house before you go out and impose yourself as a father. Can you imagine just imposing themselves on and are imposing themselves on other men of God who have bigger ministries than them? Imposing themselves to be their spiritual fathers who can correct those men of God. It doesn't work like that. And this is a message. If you're hearing me in Nigeria, this will be the fall of Nigeria faith. I'm telling you the truth. You see, we pray for Nigeria. I wish my country was like Nigeria, where we had a lot of generals. But now, the last weapon the devil would use in Nigeria is not Muslims who rise against the church. It is the church against the church. And intercessors in Nigeria pray for your land. Wake up and pray for your land. This is not godly at all. At all. As if for me, I will never correct any man of God in Nigeria or in the world because I know we have different what? Assignments. To some people, can you imagine? I believe in deliverance. Some people don't. 
Can I come and say they are wrong? Not to believe in deliverance. No. They have got an audience which don't need deliverance. Therefore, deliverance is not relevant. Am I talking to you? 